My name is Matthew Prosser. I am an English teacher. We are in the beautiful British College of Gavar. I teach mainly, I'm only in secondary, but I teach GCSE students up into IB. When we were using that, I guess it was mainly a just normal whiteboard teaching. But when it came to electronic materials, projection for the middle of the room. It was okay, it was functional. And picture quality uh, was, um, was certainly not as good. You could get that washed out effect pretty easily. You know, it was much more limited than what it is now. I love using music and, and, and video. So to have sort of a one-stop shop ability to be able to do that, show a video, pause it, get out the, the, the magic pens, write little annotations, screen capture, and then immediately put that into things like Google Classroom. It's great for things like games, uh, Kahoot and Bluekit are in vogue at the moment. There's really no limit to things you can do when it comes to visual display. It's really great for the students. Any time they, they get a chance to, the whole, to hold the magic pen, and select their color and select their highlighter and do things like that and get involved, it's been really good. And so mixing things like artistic, very stodgy analytical essays with the student's ability to be artistic, it's, I think it's a good feature of, uh, of this board. I think it kind of um, meets them in their world, which is getting more and more touch screen, um, which can have its drawbacks, but since they understand things like swiping, they understand they are often, I'd say they're probably better than the majority of teachers when it comes to being neat on this type of board, the electronic board. You're both reaching the students in their world, because a lot of it is online and you're expanding your range of tasks because you have the whole internet at your disposal as a display in the classroom constantly.